everyone welcome to the new video so today we'll see about get branching strategy in detail so let's go today we'll see about github branching strategy this question is mostly asked in our interview and if you are like if you don't if you haven't worked on a devops uh, properly so maybe you should know this uh, answer very well because this is of course the interviewer is going to ask that what kind of branching strategy you follow so see main thing is that there is one master or main branch right then there is a release branch then there is a feature branch and somewhere there is a hot fix branch then comes sometimes you will hear about master main so this is this is the most common and the popular strategy actually this is only followed but you know somewhere or the other maybe there will be develop branch which is added release and feature so these are the main branching strategy which is commonly followed in every organization so to understand that how this branching strategy works i'll show you by drawing it so suppose we have any app okay we have an app we have an app which we are you know it is in a development phase so there is one main branch so this is our main branch okay this is our main branch and we have done many commits so why this branching strategy is useful because in development team we have many people who are working who are collaborating so that's why branching strategy is important plus see once our app is developed also and released also there will be many features coming so it's not like one person will work on one feature or if there is any issue one person will work on it that's why branching strategy came into like it's important also and that's why we should follow branching strategy so suppose this is an app that we are currently it's in development phase or whatever it is and this is a main branch and we have done many commits so right now this branch is fine suddenly uh, this app maybe uh, we can take this app as a uh, suppose there is a website sub and then uh, this is a shopping website so suppose this is a shopping website and this is currently you know uh, it's fine then comes that some changes are required some features we need to add in the shopping website so we have to we have to add uh, like there is no return policy or some feature that uh, people can return uh, can raise a return request in the website only so for that we will create a feature branch from our shopping web from the main branch so this uh, you know this branch will be feature branch and we can you know save it as feature so we have created this feature branch feature return product and then this branch is created from the main branch and a person with test over here do so that whatever is it in main branch it is not affected whatever we do testing over here in feature branch the main branch is as it is so because the website which is you know currently available to users that is not affected 
uh, due to our testing due to our change that's why we create a feature branch once our testing and everything is completed what we'll do we'll merge this feature branch back to main branch once our testing everything is completed we are sure that this you know uh, the testing and everything is fine and we can uh, merge it into main branch then this feature is again though so this is a kind of separate branch that we have created so this is what branching means branch means when we create a separate uh, structure from our main branch so this is called branching so we'll create a separate branch of feature and then after testing and all we'll merge that branch again to main what is release branch suppose now we want to release this thing with shopping website uh, that is currently available to user and with feature return products we want to release this thing to the user end users so we'll create one more branch and this will be release branch which will be so this will be release v1 like first release and we will give it to our users for our use okay so this will this app will be again released uh, with the a combination of the existing and the feature of return product will be made available to the end use correct so this is what release v1 so whenever we want to make a release new release we will take a separate branch that will be release v1 we will name it and we will ship it and we will uh, make it available for our end user this is what the main thing is that i want to tell that what is the main branch why we use feature branch and then why we use release branch then if some hotfix branch is basically when we there is an urgent there is a bug that something uh, we released and there is a bug that needs to be resolved so we'll create one branch of hotfix and then once it the things are tested we'll merge it to release branch and also to the master branch so this is what hotfix branch has to be done because in current release also our main branch should be updated always and our main branch should be updated and our release means the whatever we have shipped that should also be updated so our main branch should also be updated and whatever we have released that should be also updated that's why we merge into both the branches that is what our hotfix does then comes that why we use debla branch so basically what we do in some organization we create one branch more uh, which is called develop branch from the main branch we create the develop branch and from develop branch uh, let me uh, just clear this so that it should avoid the confusion so i have created another one so what we do here we will have a main branch then from main branch we'll have a develop branch and whenever we want to you know uh, to create add any feature then we'll create a feature branch from the develop branch once the develop branch uh, once our testing is done in feature and everything and then we are sure then we'll merge it into develop branch and then we'll merge it into main branch and if we have to do a release we'll create a separate branch release branch and then we will release this app to the end user so this is what journaly is followed this branching strategy is followed and whenever this question is asked that what kind of branching strategy has been followed in your organization you can tell this uh that you know how you are creating the main branch what kind of from where you are 
uh, creating your feature branch and then where you are merging it how you are releasing it so you can tell this in your interview so that's all that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye